see that giant grey building? That is where we're going down. As we're leaving, driving down the road, we have just seen the men in black. I swear to God, they're at their end entrance, so we're going to drive seriously, past. Seriously, seriously. Oh, there is. There is, there, 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 look. Let's just get the f*** out of here. We are currently at RAF Rudlow, which is site one, which is officially the UFO HQ. Done. So we are literally stuffing around these buildings. Yo. Yeah. Was it? Was it? We are currently being tailed by the police. Welcome everyone. Rock, paper, scissors, you know how to go. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Come on, are you ready? Uh, yeah, come on. So there's no shoot in this one, this is the UK version. Ready? Wait a minute, so it's... Rock, paper and scissors. Rock, paper, paper and scissors. Oh. Right. Are you ready? <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, right. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Right, let's do that again, one minute. Hey, yeah, yeah, right, right, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. Hang around too many Americans, that's what's been going on. Rock, paper, scissors. Ah! Wait a minute. I, I think I was, I was half in, I don't even know what I was. <laughs> I was going for scissors and paper at the same time. But yeah, it's between you two. Yeah, man. Come on. I'm taking the end. Oh, rock, paper, scissors. Yes! Oh, you're ah, you're man. Yes! Yes! Dick, man. That's, that's how it's done. That's yep. how it's done every time. <sighs> whoop, whoop. Right, next person, right? I'm playing rock, paper, scissors for Matt's shirt. You ready? What's <laughs> 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 that shirt so bad? <laughs> Where'd you get that from? Uh, internet. I'm going to buy one then. Yeah, I promise you now. I, I, and, the, and they're the nerdiest shirts you can possibly get. Yeah. That's cool as hell. <laughs> so, we're on a road trip, doing this. Uh, we're actually waiting for Steve Ronnie to fly in tomorrow. Uh, we did actually think he was going to turn up today, but uh, yeah, he's got the times wrong, because obviously we're a day ahead. Uh, we've actually stayed at this Travel Lodge four times. I still think we should be getting sponsored by Travel Lodge, to be fair. I agree. How many times have we stayed at Travel Lodge? Mate, we're keeping them in or business. Just, or just two nights for one first. That'd I've be nice. Know. I seem to have lost count how many times we've been at Travel yeah. Lodge, and how many times we've actually said Travel Lodge in a video. Yeah, yeah, it is. So, yeah, so Trouble Lodge, if you're watching, hit me up. It's a bit of a Groundhog Day, really, isn't it? You know, you've been here how many times now, and you still haven't broken the, the loop. So you haven't, you haven't learned something. This is so the you have to keep time. coming back until you learn. This is the fifth time we've been at this specific Trouble Lodge, mm -hmm. but this is where it all starts. This yeah. is where the magic happens. This is this is where I got my first big viral outside of this uh, this Trouble Lodge, and the one just ten miles away in Caution. Yeah. Ten miles away. Yeah. In That's where the men in black got them, yeah. they flashed them, and then they have to do it all again. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been even more times, we just don't know. Yeah, I, I never know. Never know. But either way, Travel still haven't sponsored us. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. Let's go. Right. Yo, Steve. Steve. Where have you been? Oh, where have you been? Yo. Bro. <laughs> it's good to see you, bro. Holy oh, shit, the game's bro. all here. <laughs> About time. Alright, buddy. Bro, nice good. to meet you, pal. See you again, man. I know, yeah. You know things are about to go down when when us us four meet up in Wiltshire, England. You know, Mate, it's go down. Every time, yeah, every yeah. time. <laughs> About time. <laughs> it's been too long. Now, where's Matt? I thought you guys were mad. He disappeared again. What? Yeah, see this is the thing, obviously, you know, he's all into this alien stuff, so you never know, aliens could have taken this guy away. Let's go and find him. Yeah. See, like, last time I was with Steve, we nearly died. <laughs> it's been about six months since, since we had that uh, near-death experience. Actually, every trip has been a near-death experience. <laughs> yeah, it's true that. <laughs> right, so guys, basically what's going on right now, we're trying to get into this um, bunker, and basically Matt has said, you know, that it's best to linger around in the area, you know, make some phone calls and basically throw out a decoy just in case, you know, the police are listening. Because where, where we're at pretty much down the road is where myself, Bucky and Dan 
hit the bunker okay. and we came out. Oh no, it was the other place, man. Yeah, this is where we're near right now. And basically, um, you know, as we was leaving, we seem to believe, you know, it was the men in black that were coming after us and we got off rapid, didn't we? I mean, it was and either the men in black or it was like Ministry of Defence. There was something going on. It was some some government officials that, that were that were on to us. black suits, so that, I think. Yeah. And then basically the site we're at right now, Rudlow Manor, we hit this up with Steve. And um, yeah, will and behold, we got pulled over by coppers, wondering you know, what we're doing and stuff like that. And yeah, it was, it was pretty damn intense, wasn't it? It was and it was I think it's all linked up to you know when we first went down the, the people in black suits were coming after us and obviously we were lurking around there and they, they claimed that the car was cloned absolute nonsense and yeah we're here now outside the building and we're gonna throw the police a bit of a decoy that's that, that's what you believe don't you Mav? they know we're here they know number plate they got ANPR they got the phones and um once you start coming into the locality, you ping up on a screen. I mean, they've got a command and control center in there. It's like GCHQ. You come into this area, it probably goes like this on the screen. Bim, 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 person of interest. Mr. Dan Dixon, car, da, da, da. Mr. Matthew Williams, car, da, 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 da. Where were you last seen? And, and then they get like, uh, you know, whoever the police are on, they'll be like, you know, police. Can you see if you can spot them? And they'll be they'll be driving around the thing. They'll go through the side streets because we we've, we've hidden in side streets. You know, we just parked up somewhere, and they just go zoom straight to you. So mobile phone, or you know, even when we turned the phone off, they knew where we were. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So we've got a bit of subterfuge. You have to use it. So we're going to use the mobile phones. We're going to mislead them. We're going to drive around and we're going to turn the phones off, and hopefully we'll be able to go somewhere where they won't know where we are. So that's the idea. Right, so see that, see that we've been here before. If you've not seen the other video logs, that is one of the ventilation shafts to the Billington bunker. The Billington bunker is right underneath us right now, and they basically said um, well, the, the fire, fire brigade officer basically came out and said um, that he that 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 unit mans the Billington bunker just in case of any fires and things like that. So right underneath us right now, this is like yeah, absolute hot spot. Are these windows tinted? MOD yes, stuff. Right That's one of the entrances right there. Yeah, go down here. Stay away, yeah, stay away yeah, from this fire station. So there's the ventilation shaft that takes you down into the burnt bunker. I've got a funny feeling we shouldn't be in here. I don't know whether maybe this has been sold off or something because they should have, they should have been a. Uh, Rash the store. The police station was the, the main thing. That was a police station. This is all um, boarded up. Sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's a joint Services Caution Medical Centre. So basically, that, that right there, that mound, there is actually doors on there that take you to the elevators inside that take you down into Burlington Bunker as well. That there is um, Burlington's escalator. Right. So this is like government, <laughs> government business. Yeah. Look at that data centre over there. So this is the, what is the international security? Basically, um, command and control, you know, for any emergency situations that happen around the globe. You've got GCHQ, you've got um, this place, yeah. and you've got, uh, you're probably going for the army, so this, Force, this is the main place where they deal with like yeah. serious situations. This is like on lockdown big time. You can see, you know, the fencing, there's cameras up everywhere. And what's quite interesting about this place is next 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 road that goes down is actually called Skynet Drive. And uh, basically they control all the satellites and stuff from there. Go where the thing goes sits up. Yo. Now, look at this now, we're getting all the way up to the data centre, which is extremely high security. <laughs> oh shit, that was easy. There's a bunker entrance. Should we look at how secure that is? Look how secure that is. Yeah, look, look at that. It's, wow. It's all engines and stuff in it, like exhaust Cold sticking out of it. Yeah. That's probably secure. Jesus. Cameras all over that. Yo, <laughs> yo! I didn't notice all them people. Them coming out of it. I just filmed them all. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, Shit. Basically, boys. Oh basically, God, I, I guarantee you, right? This place, this yo, place yo. is working for GCHQ, and we 
we've just driven into their data center place that they're building. Oh no. no. <laughs> Shit. So this is like maximum security in my ass. Well, <laughs> not maximum security, but uh, yeah. It's about as maxed out as like. Every time we're in the group, it's like we walk in places <laughs> like we own the place. <laughs> Every time. Every time. Yeah, can you tell me what Burlington Bunker entrance is, mate? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get in. I don't know. What? <laughs> no one's asked. I think we're invisible. No one's even. <laughs> <laughs> what is going Yo, nobody's even walked at us. <laughs> this is supposed to be high security. This ain't high security, man. What is man. going on here? Well, it is high security because there's probably a lot of cameras up there. Oh, yeah, it is high security, but these people ain't doing a good job. <laughs> no, we've got a couple of high visits on, we can walk anywhere we want. Mate, we? No, no, we don't even need that. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's in. Ma right, we're, we're, uh, this is like maximum security, right? And it's a staff canteen. <laughs> and Matt's just decided to. to <laughs> Matt's just opened the door and started falling oh in. <laughs> Yo, he's going in, he ain't that. What? <laughs> No, so, so <laughs> and, 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 and do you know what? There's, there's like some military police car there just chilling. So it turned into like a um, Matt's scenic tours. <laughs> so now he's, he's gone waltzing into one of the most high security facilities on the planet where they house the Trident Defense submarine, nuclear submarine. It's right under our feet. So Matt's just decided to get out and pretend he's an official and he's just managed to get the bits of blueprints from inside. Um, the section where they're developing it of the, of the base <laughs> it's just bold inside not even an asshole bit I tell you what if you wanted to you could pick up a you could pick up a bunch of these bloody blueprints there's stacks of them there you know it's got all the detailed sort of plans of the uh, HVAC system for the data centre crazy man well I couldn't look further around the corner because there were people there but basically, the door is open, and there are the blueprints right by the door, and there are the people over there. If you wait for a couple of minutes for the people to go away, you can sort of go, oof, and just take those. They're right by a bloody fire door that's open. That's crazy. Security is our number one priority. Security is our number one priority. Priority. So I've been driving past the main place where you don't be hanging around for like 15, 20 times or some shit and it's like AMPR on the lap post as well. So no doubt like last time, I probably ping up, register like this car's been through multiple times. And we're probably gonna get stopped anytime soon by the police. Shit. So I'm just putting this out there right now. Trying to make a prediction, so if it does happen, then I was right. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Jumping back on the Billington Bunker series, we determined to try find an entrance point to the Billington Bunker. So myself, Dan from X Point Fighters, and Buck actually came here on the Billington Bunker weekend. This same location is one of the entrances in to the Billington Bunker. Right, so. Here we go. This is one of the entrances right here. So, right now, uh, we're on the Billington job again. Uh, basically, we're just checking out one of the entrances. I'm not got my camera right now because it's done to car and um, there's been tons of police turned up. I managed to like. Obviously, move right, away from the area, come again. back round, and there's the police, police dogs everywhere. The police dogs everywhere. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're currently being tracked right now. This is no joke. They're always so private about yo, the, yo, yo, firearms, firearms unit coming firearms. up now. Firearms. firearms unit now. They're coming for us. They're here, yeah, firearms unit right there. They're here. What about the f? We're all this. Yeah. Yo, recording. Don't make up. Don't make up. Don't make up. Don't make up. What, what, whatever you do, just don't stop recording. He's gonna tell you to, don't stop recording. Oh You're on to us right now. Not again, guys. Yo. The lights are gonna come Yo, on. Yo, they're on our cell. You're making off a bit too fast. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. 
he's gonna put his lights on any minute, that guy. Still on a slow down, mate. Yeah, he's comes going, the other way. He's, he's going to do you for reckless. Yeah, he is. I know, but it's still, not. You, still, you can get done for dangerous driving, bro. I think it's a private road, actually. Yeah, we watch them, it don't come the other way. Yeah. Oh, we're going to get out of here, we're trapped. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, Go up to it, mate, have a pressure sensor. Mm -hmm. uh, dumb. Oh, yeah, lights. Lights are on. What, what? Hello, Matt. Alright? Oh, hello. Yeah, how are you doing? Hello, boys. How are you going? You've just been picked up a bit. Yeah. So, I, just to let you know, you haven't committed any offences. I just want to let you know we're in the area, keep an eye on the place. That's yep. all. Okay. Because okay. obviously, you know, you know us. I know. We've yeah. spoken to us loads of times. Yeah. Yeah. We're just doing a documentary on all the underground. Yeah, that's fine. It's great. I think they threw Matt's dogs showing in my around. photo <laughs> of the bloody wall or something. But, yeah. but if you've spoken to us, obviously, you didn't have to walk away from me. You've done nothing wrong. In the last video you did, yeah. Well, obviously, when you went up to Rudlow North. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a really <laughs> one point seven million views. <laughs> yeah, but one point million seven million views. <laughs> yeah, but 1. Like 7 million views. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, sure. It's done I'm really sure good. It good. No, I watched it. I'm curious as well. No, I, I love the videos. It's a good. Yeah. Everyone does. It's a, an adrenaline rush. Who's, who's Dan? Me. Dan, Dan, yeah. Your video, right? yeah. <laughs> so if we promise not to go in, will you let us in? <laughs> <laughs> But if we don't so what secrets are in, if we, we don't commit criminal damage, there's no offences committed. Right, okay. So can we, we say you said it was alright to get in and just put down on yeah. no. no. <laughs> <laughs> what, what happens if we find a manhole and somehow go down a manhole in there? I'd be very if you find a manhole, can you let us know? Because it's something we don't know. Okay. Um, well, we did, we've done a lot of that well, in Manchester. Yeah, famous for the yeah, Manchester this is, ones. This is us. Yeah, this it's is true. Australia. Yeah, but they refused that they knew about them and then welded them up after we did videos. Um, wow, guys. You guys have the chillest cops ever in the UK. <laughs> Told you. Because you know, he knows it is. Because it came up with Matthew Wait, Williams. he's a fanboy, though, of Dan. That's yeah. why he's so chill. <laughs> <laughs> I think Dan's getting up there in the scale of Rudlow Manor. Yeah. Yeah. Because the, the thing is, if you if you oh, you're gonna known, have to go out, they would you're gonna have to, to go out and drive around. And they know that the scare tactics don't work, so of course the scare tactics are what looks good on film. Me, so they don't do it. They're not very nicey, nicey. So we've been pulled over. Um, but actually, told, been told to come back round. The copper yeah, is actually now. here. Uh, yes, brother. Yes, brother. Response <laughs> and all that. So we've actually got, we actually got our, our response that actually did turn up. Um, and yeah, obviously we're not we're not causing any criminal damage or anything like that, we're just, we're just literally exploring and obviously figuring out ways how to get in here but we're going to speak with the copper now anyway. So, the police turned up, we managed to get off and we jumped in Matt's car and we got followed by the coppers. Unfortunately, um, I didn't have my camera mate, at the time as I put it back in the thing, in the car but um, yeah we got followed, we got stopped, it was absolutely crazy. They don't want us getting in here whatsoever absolutely crazy i just don't know what's going on but they're hiding something <laughs>